I want to share with you guys one more little trick that I like to do sometimes when I've got a really dry vocal. So in this case, uh, here's a band that we recorded many years ago, in fact, almost 10 years ago. And the band has said, hey, we want to go back to that song that we didn't put on the album, and we want to you know, release it with the next album. So I said, fine. First thing that I heard immediately was that we didn't really record this the best way. And the vocal is a little too dry. So let me play the track for you so you can hear what it sounds like without the effects that I'm going to add. You can go and leave in the middle of the night You don't need permission, that's all right Just make sure you're leaving for the right cause so you can hear that there's some hiss on the vocal and some other things going on in the background. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over to the mix side of Pro Tools. Now you can do this trick with any DAW. What I'm going to do is send it to a reverb. So let's make a new reverb. And I'm going to call this the short verb. So this is a stereo stem that I'm going to make sure I send out to my effects stem. Now I'm going to put the stock reverb. Now don't get caught up in having a whole bunch of reverbs. I know the other videos I've shown you some other really cool reverbs. Let's play with the stock reverb on this one. So let's go into reverb and choose the D-verb, which is the one that comes with Pro Tools. Now here's the trick. Make sure that you pull the decay all the way down, as far as it'll go. Now, if you make it, it's in a large hall right now. If we do a medium, it'll go drop down to 300. And let's move the gain all the way up, 0.1. Let's listen to this real quick. You can go and leave in the middle of the night. Don't need permission, that's all right. Just make sure you're leaving for the right cause. So you don't really notice it, but let me take it away and see if you notice the difference now. You can go and leave in the middle of the night. Now I'm gonna put it back in. Don't need permission, that's all right. Just make sure you're leaving for the right cause. So you can hear it push the vocal forward a little bit and made it a little bit more present and a little bit wider, which is really nice. And it's a really simple trick that you can do just to kind of kick up your vocal a little bit. You can do this on any instrument or any vocal for any genre. It's actually really popular in hip-hop vocals if you want to just get a little bit more shine on your vocal. So give it a shot. Let me know what you guys think. Leave me some questions or comments. I'd love to hear what you're using this on.